Here's how to install Signage Live on your Sony Bravia player. Start by downloading the Signage Live client and adding this onto a USB drive. Next, insert the USB drive into one of the USB ports on your Sony device. With your Sony device powered on, you should eventually be met with a couple of on-screen prompts. Choose Allow in both instances. Next, you'll be asked if you want to install the Signage Live client. At this stage, select Install. Scroll to the bottom of the Terms and Conditions, then press Accept. Once again, you'll get a prompt to install Signage Live and hit Install when you're ready to continue. Once Signage Live finishes installing, you'll be met with another prompt asking you to activate this application as an admin app. Select Activate this device admin app to continue. Once installation is complete, you'll get a message on screen, press OK and then remove your USB from the device. Soon after, your device will begin to restart. Once your player finishes rebooting, you'll be met with the initial Sony startup screen, but if you wait a few moments, Signage Live will auto-launch. When it does, press the back button on your Sony remote control to continue running through the Sony initial setup. Select your chosen language. In my case, I'm connected via an ethernet cable here, so I'm automatically connected to the internet. In your case, if you wanted to connect via Wi-Fi, you would get prompted to do so at this stage. Next, you can choose whether you want to sign in with Google. In our case, we're gonna skip this for now. Read and accept the terms and conditions. Choose and accept which Google services you'd like to use on your Sony device. And proceed through the following steps using your Sony remote control. Once complete, you'll be met with this Sony startup animation. And when this finishes, you can start your Sony Bravia experience. Scroll through the privacy policy, then select agree. Specify how your display is positioned and finally you would have completed setup at this stage select complete you'll now be taken to the default sony bravia menu and from here if you select apps and scroll down you will see signage live installed on your sony bravia device if you select it you can launch signage live and now you'll be met with that signage live setup screen once again select your time zone your screen rotation and whether you'd like to rotate videos or not then press save. And finally, you'll be met with a Signage Live activation code, which you can use to activate your player within Signage Live.